Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Melly, and today is another vlog. It's a little bit hectic. I do want to start it off a little bit earlier since I literally only always film like two days. So I figured... I'm like moving around so much, but I figured that I would start it today. It is, I was going to say I was starting it on Saturday, but it's Sunday, 1.16 a.m. And it's March 24th. So, you know, of course I work over the weekend. So most of the time I don't film my weekends just because I'm typically so busy after a 12 hour shift, but I ended up going to Michael's after and then I ended up taking a long nap when I got home so that's why it's 1 17 a.m and I'm awake I'm not gonna be awake too much longer but I wanted to give you guys a teeny tiny haul to show you guys what I got yesterday and what I got today at Michael's let me go ahead and start off with like the Amazon packages I also wanted to glue on some safety eyes on the little octo mr. Um, Ollie the octo he's actually going to be going to work with me and I'm going to leave him there on top of we have like this little area that has like candies and stuff so I'm just gonna leave him right on top of there and have all his little tentacles out with his little angry face like I thought that would just be so adorable to kind of um you know everybody needs a little bit of a stress reliever when they're at work so I figured that would be adorable if I did that here is Mr. Ollie the Octopus if you guys don't know who I'm referring to He's just so cute. Look at his little face. These safety eyes are not glued in, so I need to glue them on. Let me go ahead and start this little contraption, the glue gun. So I did end up receiving some of my silicone beads that I've been waiting for. I got some more little llamas for you guys. Oh, let me maybe show you this side. A lot of people like the white and the tan, and those go fast, but they don't sell them individually, so I have to buy the entire pack. I ended up getting two full things of these because these daisies go by so quick. I feel like they're a little bit smaller than the ones that I've been using, but this is the only listing I could find, so I went ahead and ordered that. And then I ordered some flowers, and I thought they were going to be smaller, but these things are huge. Look at these. Obviously, first come, first serve, so if anybody does want a big flower on their sewing sticks let me know hit me up and we can talk about it let me show you all the flowers that are in here I feel like that would be a lot more helpful this could be your main topper because this thing is huge it's like extremely big so we have one that's all yellow we have one that's mint in the middle and then pink on the outer ends we have a regular daisy here regular daisy here we have the opposite colors of pink on the inside mint on the out we have a regular sunflower which I think is it's gonna be the first one gone I already know it and then we have one more pink on the inside mint on the outside so there's actually two of these the other one well actually this one's blue guys now that I'm looking at them, this one's blue and this one's more green toned. I have those silicone toppers. And then I also got these beads that I'm going to be adding to my basket because it's getting pretty low. I think I only talked about it on my live, but Amazon or I would think it's the USPS that did it. But there was a big slash in my Amazon bag and they delivered it and there was nothing in the bag. Like literally air. Like I did not receive anything in that bag. So I didn't understand how USPS thought, oh, I'll still, I'll still scan it and mark it as delivered. I have no clue. Like if there's nothing in the bag, I don't understand why you would, you would still deliver an empty bag. It's mind boggling to me, but Amazon did send me my order again. So I finally got my silicone beads. I got them in today or yesterday, which is Saturday. And I got a multitude of purples. They look so pretty. There's a lot of like shimmery ones. I am so excited. I got bright pink. I got light pink. And then I got black since I didn't have any. So I'm really excited about having those. I feel like I need to order a pack of white just because I am kind of running low on white. I still do have several white silicone beads so maybe I'll just wait that's why I didn't originally buy them but I know I will be needing one if I get more sewing stick orders for anybody who has purchased I really do appreciate it I think I said that in my last vlog but I am very thankful that people are still wanting sewing sticks even after the first and second batch it really means a lot to me that you're wanting to order for me and for my small business of course I am a one-woman show and I do work a full-time job so just please take that into consideration 
consideration whenever you are purchasing from me. I really do appreciate everyone's patience. No one has been like rude or ugly about waiting. So seriously, I really do appreciate it. So let me go ahead and talk to you guys about what I bought at Michael's. So someone was telling me that there was like a 60% off sale at Michael's for like, you know, decor and stuff. So I'm like, oh, now's the perfect time to go buy stuff for my market. Do I really need any more display items? Not really. I think I have almost everything that I am wanting, but I figured I would just go and look to see. I could probably switch some stuff out if, you know, I was getting bored of certain things. So that's exactly what I did. All of this was 60% um, off. So of course I had to take advantage when do they give us a good sale like that you know I went ahead and bought two little baskets like this this is so cute because it's kind of like lacy and floral right here and it's white so I figured like it would fit perfectly in my display and literally when do you not need a basket you know what I mean like you could just stick it's not even that um deep in so you could stick a lot of things in there or have them poking out. I think that would be adorable. I know I talked about needing more baskets for like my two wired five tiered shelves. So these are so cute. I think they're cohesive with what I'm trying to go with. So I went ahead and picked two of these up. Here are the two. I wanted to pick up some more of these clover stitch markers. These are literally my favorite to use. They are like the swiggly ones and they are pretty expensive. I think they're $8 for a pack, but it was 30% off regular priced items. So it was a lot less. I wanted to get two of them, but I limited myself to one since I do have a ton of them. I just like to restock whenever I see them because they are just so easy to work with and I really do appreciate that like I love the squ the swiggliness of them they're harder to break and stuff and these are the bigger ones the bigger ones are always the purple and the yellow the smaller ones I think are blue and pink you can use these for bigger projects they're a lot wider and I really do like these if you ever see me using like these type of stitch markers and not like the cute ones that I get from Stitches by Patti. These are it. I love the little swiggly ones. The next thing that I want to talk about, my glue gun is already ready. So we will glue the eyes here shortly. But the next thing that I want to talk about is this thread that I bought. So I am on a yarn band. Um, you guys know if you watched vlog number 10, me and the girlies is what I'm going to call us. But me, Ariana, Adam and Patti, we all put ourselves on a yarn band because we have so much yarn that we need to start using the yarn that we do have. So I did buy some thread. Technically, this was not in the agreement that we like signed for the yarn band. Like we have a whole document. I, I'm not kidding. We have a whole document about the reason why we started the yarn ban as well as a justification on if we were to buy yarn why we would need it and it would have to meet the following requirements so it is real guys like i am going on a yarn ban this is thread this was not in our agreement so am i kind of pushing the limit maybe i'm I, you know i'm reading in between those lines recently bathy and addy bought like these cute little micro crochet um stitch markers from a creator on instagram and they are so adorable and i remember trying like micro crocheting and i hated it because my hands are like i have chunky little stubby fingers and the hook is just too tiny and it was like making my hands cramp up so i didn't really like it but the creator had suggested this type of yarn so i'm like let me just try it again and see if i like it i bought the hooks they're coming from amazon so they're not here just yet but i do i think i have a 2.25 or 2.75 so i figured i would start there and see and then make my way down to a 2.5 crochet hook i think that's what they use i can't remember i wrote it down but i don't have it in front of me let me show you what thread i bought for micro crocheting we'll see we'll see how it goes i'll keep you guys updated but i bought aunt lydia's crochet thread fashion three so this one in particular is a weight one yarn it's a super fine yarn there was a weight zero and a weight one I'm too scared to use the weight zero. That is way too small. So I figured I would go with the weight one. So yeah, this is in the color Sage. I thought this was so cute. You know, that's like one of my favorite, all time favorite colors. So I had to buy that. Then I got this light pink one and it's called Warm Rose. I got this beautiful blue and it's called Warm Teal. This pretty purple and it's called Plum. This cream color and it's called Bridal White. And the last one I got, I promise, 
is this blue one and it's called warm blue it's so cute those are the colors i wanted to give myself a little bit of option i know that's a lot but girl let me just tell you they were 4.99 30 percent off i had a 10 dollar coupon like where am i getting robbed i'm not so <laughs> i went ahead and just took the leap not too many colors though trust me there was like a whole a whole section for it and online there were 7.99 so i felt like that was a steal from Michael's going in store. I am excited to start that. I may, I may make a video about it and um, it just depends because I feel like this is gonna be such a hard time for me to do, but that may be Saturday's video. I'll have to revisit that on Thursday to see if I wanna do that. And I may do a little bit on live with you on Thursday. If you guys want to see that, I think that would be interesting. And then you guys can come out in my video for Saturday, you know, like just saying, showing the chat and saying hi. I think that would be adorable. I love that. I love to include you guys. I know later this week, probably on Tuesday, um, I'm going to be working on putting all the names that I got for Mr. Koala and picking out a name on camera with you guys. So I'm excited about that. What else? Oh, the last thing I didn't even show you guys what I, the last thing that I seriously bought. There's two more things that I bought from Michaels. I'm trying to find out where I put it. Give me one second. Let me go grab it and I will show you guys. Okay. So the last two things that I got from Michaels, the first thing that I want to show you guys is this cute little display. I do already have one of these, but I don't like that the bike itself is black. I want it white. So I do plan on like spray painting it somehow, but isn't this so cute? And this is like a sagey minty blue. And I feel like it's more green on camera, but it's a little more blue in person. I just feel like this goes so well with my logo colors to where I just couldn't pass up the offer. Originally, it is $29.99. Would I pay that? No. 60% off. It was such a good price. I had to, you know, like I just couldn't let it sit there. I can put a little plushie up here. I can put a little big fat leggy froggy or something that has like arms on it. I think that would be adorable. I'm so excited to use this in my display. Just to add a little bit more color because you know, almost everything on my table is like white or I try to do like the natural wood. So just this adds a little bit of color in it. So so I'm trying to make a care package for Ariana. She is in my friend group and her little at is hnk.crochet. So I found this cute, she loves orange and this is one of her letters. I was, try, I tr was trying to find the H, so don't come at me, but I had to get her the K. Look how adorable that is. She loves this orange and she loves floral. What better thing to get for her than this for her room? She's doing like a whole makeover. Definitely check out her uh, YouTube channel. She is coming out with like her first videos and stuff. And I can't wait to see what she has in store for us. But this is so cute. I freaking love it. And I am making her a little care package. I'm waiting for a couple of things. But this is going to be included and she already knows because I had to send it to her to make sure that she liked the print, you know? I don't want to get people anything that they don't, they're not going to use or, or that they don't like and then they, they're forced to see it. So I had to ask and she loved it. I couldn't find the H, but she said she's going to go hunting around Michael's to see if she can find the H for herself, but I had to get her the K at least. The last thing that I have to show you guys is this was before the yarn band, guys, so don't come at me. <laughs> like I said, I'm still waiting on a Hirschner's. Um, half of my Hirschner's package. I think two of them are getting shipped out to um, yarn skeins and then the other ones will be coming April 10th. So I'm waiting on that. I did order from Premier Yarns when they were having like their 30% off or they were having some type of sale and I decided to buy some yarn just because it was on sale. Let me go ahead and show you that because it's been sitting here and I need to put it away, which is something else that I plan on doing either Monday or Tuesday is going over like literally doing this yarn wall with you guys kind of sped up just to show you because it is not the prettiest. If I were to turn my camera, which you will see it on Monday, if I were to show you, it just looks, to me, it's not appealing and I need to fix it. Let me go ahead and grab that yarn to show you guys. So I do have a little bit of a premiere haul. It's not big, so don't think that I bought like 500 colors. I did end up buying three of cloudy day gray. I gotta make some koalas, guys. Like, 
I have to, and then maybe some regular colored um, Sambas. I think that would be really cute. And then I bought three in black, of course, for koalas. I bought this beautiful blue that you guys saw. So the first two were Premier Perfect Chunky, the one that I always use. I love it. And I really like their retro velvet. It's exactly like the Bernat velvet, and I like both of them. This just has different colors. So I figured I would add a couple more to my collection than I have. And you know what's crazy? I noticed that I kept saying collection in my last vlog, and I'm just like, Melly, literally, if you don't start using this yarn, it is it is a collection, ma'am. Like, ma'am, you need to start using this yarn. <laughs> I was like really editing my video, and I was like, oh my gosh, even you internally know that it's a collection, and you need to stop. So, oh, I need to use this yarn, you know? But this is the Retro Velvet from Premier, and this is in the color teal. Very, very cute. Sorry, the, the name is the opposite way, so you guys are going to see the labels um, upside down. We got this colorway in Waterfall. Look at how pretty that is. I wanted to get all the colors. Their Retro Velvet is so pretty. Like I know they work up a lot smaller, but I just feel like for those dainty projects, you, you need colors like this, you know? And the camera doesn't even do it justice. Like They are so reflective. I love them so much. Then we have Mink. And then these are the last couple, so let me grab them out of the bag to show you the colors. We had to get some neutrals, so I went ahead and grabbed this one, and this is an almond. Sorry, I'm fixing that little thing. Almond. This is so pretty, and it's in Teddy. Last colored, I figured we could make, like, some little mushy boys in, like, velvet yarn. I think that would be nice, or, like, keychains. And this is in the color Ruby. So that is it on the yarn haul. I really need to glue these eyes on. Look at all the wasted glue that I've already melted. Let's go ahead and do that on camera. So all I do is pop these little suckers out. Look at that indention. <laughs> and then all I do is stick this glue gun inside the hole. Put like three pumps of it in it and then have some come out of the hole. I don't think you can see it. You see how it's, you see how it's like coming out and then it's surrounding that yarn. So it's kind of like, I feel like it, it really melts into the yarn to where when you stick the eye in, the eye is the glue is melting into the yarn to where the eyeball gets stuck. So I really like this way. I've tugged on it, pulled on it um, after it's been sitting for a while. And I haven't had an issue, but I've also not sold my stuff. So I don't know how secure it is. But I like doing it this way because it gives me a better view of my eyes not being crooked or not being exactly where I want them um, because I've had projects to where the face is completely off because my eyes were too far down, too far up, too wide apart to where I just didn't like the, the end project. So once I started doing this, I really started enjoying my projects more. I really do like the way they look. I do have warning labels on all of my plushies. I hope they hold up. I've seen other creators do it this way. So I would think if there was an issue, people would be talking about it. So I don't think there is. Let me go ahead and do the other eye. I also just hold and press for at least 10 to 15 seconds just so it can really, really attach. He's literally the cutest little fella ever. Like, he's so mad. I I can't. I can't with this little Octo. I'm going to make so many. And like I was saying, I think I'm going to make them in Bernat Blanket just so I, just because I want them to come out a little bit bigger. And so I can sell them accordingly because these tentacles take a little bit to get through. They're easy, though. They just take a little bit, you know? I think I'm gonna do like a little reel that's like velvet and then burn out, bam, like so big. Such a difference. So there's that little guy. Let me turn this glue gun off because I was only gonna do that one. The other thing, guys, I am changing my P.O. box. I was sharing it with some guy. I'm sure if you caught one of my lives, you guys know that I was sharing my P.O. box apparently. Like low-key, not like 
seriously. But they kept putting this guy's mail in my P.O. box, even though after I told them that, like, this is my P.O. box, this is not his P.O. box, um, they still kept putting it in there. So I just got tired of that because my, like, his stuff was stacking up. And I'm assuming it was a previous owner, but, like, his stuff shouldn't even be in there, you know? And it would just freak me out because there would be like six stacked up and then I would look at the name and it wasn't mine. So I am changing my P.O. box. I actually just paid for it yesterday, which was Saturday. I got to go pick up my keys. I got to do my 1093 form and then I officially will put... Actually, I'll put it down in the description for this video which comes out on Wednesday. I did end up receiving my first letter and I love letters, guys. So if you ever want to send me anything, send me a letter. Send me some stickers. I will definitely put those on my little calendar and it's just a cute little thing that I love. Um, of course, don't feel like you have to send me anything. I'm just saying if you were going to send anything at all, sending me a personal letter and some stickers, I'm telling you, I am happy. <laughs> So I did receive a little letter from Ashley and I just think, I just think it's so cute. Let me try not to flash our addresses, but she used the cutest, look at that guys. She used the cutest little, I don't know if it's a stamp or if it's her little logo, but I just think it's so cute. It's a little cat. It's a kitty cat. And then the backing look at how adorable that little sticker is i don't even want to open it because i like literally when i pick this up i know i'm just going off on a tangent gosh melly but like when i pick this up my eyes got so teary and i feel like i'm getting teary now of course i am it is that time of the month so i'm extra extra emotional but this is like literally like someone took the time to do this and i really do appreciate it ashley like you literally made my entire week. This is like my first official like mail from anyone. So it just feels, you know, like no matter what's in here, I'm going to love it. You know, I'm trying not to rip it um, because I do, I do keep all of this. I keep it all in like a little, like a little memory box. So they did have some memory boxes on sale at Michael's. I'm just saying 60% off. I think they're originally $20, so I think they were 10 Go snatch one up, guys. So that'll, like, what, 8 to 10 bucks. Oh, this is so cute. I freaking love the card. Look how adorable this is, guys. I love that. That's, like, my favorite color, like the sagey blue. That's so pretty. It's so pretty. I love it. And it has, like, a reflect on it. Do you guys see that? And she put stickers in here. You did not. Oh, I have to show these off. Well, do you see that heart? Literally. Oh, I'm not going to say what I think about that one. It's so cute. Like, look at that. These are all cohesive too. Look at those big eyes. Do you see those big eyes? I don't know if it, there it goes. It wants to focus. So cute. Oh, this one has to be my favorite. That one in the first one that I showed, this one right here is so cute. Oh, and this one has like a little heart over it. That's so adorable. Oh, let me read this real quick, guys. Oh, Ashley, she goes by Cisha on um, YouTube and on Instagram. So I always call her Cisha, but her, her name is Ashley. And she is just the sweetest person. I really do appreciate the, the note and the handwritten note. Um, it just gives it an extra touch. And oh, I hate like getting all watery on camera because I like, this is just me guys. Like you're getting the real me. I'm, you know, it, it's, it's not an act of course, like, but I really do appreciate this, Ashley. I literally, I really love this. So thank you so much. You're literally the first one that's going to go in my memory box that is, I, I have no words. I have no words, but thank you so much. I really appreciate it. A lot of these stickers will be going on my calendar. So, um, I will probably show you guys that later once I have them on, but thank you so much, Ashley. I really appreciate it. And, um, I'll let you know, girl, if I get any, um, cat silicone beads, I was trying to find some, I wish they, uh, were a little more accessible, like 
why is there not like a silicone bead with like a cat and a yarn ball? Like literally, like you know what I mean? Like that would be so cute. I'm gonna have to find some for you, girl, just for you. So I'll I'll look to see and then I'll let you know. But uh, yeah, let's see if let me see if I have any more updates. I don't think I do. Um. I am probably going to get my butt to bed because it is now 2 a.m. Yes, I said 2 a.m., <laughs> but um, it's okay. Usually Sundays, it's less of a census, so, and I usually get a couple of hours before I, like, wake up. It's just like my body. I feel like I can't sleep more than three to four hours at a time. I don't know, and then it's either that or it's either I sleep for 12 hours. My schedule is crazy and I'm a night owl, so I'm up at night, guys. I am. I truly am. And it's probably from working night shift for so long. I worked night shift for, I think, like five years, five or six years, maybe closer to six to seven. I My body's just not used to being up during the day. So most of the time I'm up at night. So if I don't ever reply during the day and I reply like later that evening, that's why. It's not because I'm ignoring you. It's because I'm asleep. <laughs> so yeah. Also, I had a question. I have like two crochet kits that I had a really good friend of mine, like a family friend, give me. I think one of them is like Ursula. And then there was a second one. I can't remember what it is. I'm looking up because they're sitting up there and I can see the box, but I don't remember what the what what's in the boxes I think it's like Harry Potter themed I can't remember but would you guys be interested in me like doing a video of like testing out like crochet kits she actually got these at like Goodwill so we would have to see if everything is in them but I think that's so sweet like one day she messaged me and she was like hey I've been collecting like these crochet kits that I found at Goodwill some of this yarn that I found at Goodwill and I just thought of you every time I saw yarn and crochet kits so I bought them and now she was like, can we go to lunch and I can give you everything that I've, I've gotten for you. And I was just like, what? That is so sweet. Like, and I told her, I said, once I make these, you know, like I'm more than happy to give them back to you. Like, you know what I mean? Like the little plushies since you spent your money on them. And she was like, no, keep them. But I really think that I'm going to end up inviting her to lunch one day and just surprising her with them. So I think that would be a cute idea. Just let me know if that's something you want to watch. If not, I'll do it in my own time and you guys don't have to watch that uh, video, you know? I will keep you guys updated. Um, you guys probably won't see me until Monday night unless I do anything special on Sunday. <laughs> I don't think I am. I don't think I'm gonna do anything. I hope you guys enjoyed this check-in. I will see you guys in the next clip. Hey guys, weird way of starting this out. I'm actually holding the mic, so hopefully I'm not too loud or it doesn't sound like too echoey or anything, but I wanted to kind of organize these yarn walls with you. As you can see, that entire space has nothing in it. There's a ton of these skeins that kind of just need to be rolled up and placed with my scrap yarn. And by scrap yarn, I don't mean like there's just, you know, 30 meters or whatever, like a tiny percentage of yarn. It's actually just yarn balls that I, you know, they're not fluffy enough and don't maintain their little skein shape. So I just want to add those to my scrap bin. They don't belong on the wall. They're not as pretty. I feel like I'm talking a little bit lower, <laughs> but we're going to get started. I have kind of an idea, I guess. Typically, as you can see behind the because I do two layers of yarn. So this entire yarn wall has two layers of yarn that you don't see behind it, but it's typically just extras of yarn that I use. So typically this is like my gray slash tan area, and then it moves into like the dark purples and light purples, greens. This is typically like the overflow of the grays and browns. And then we go up. I don't think you can see up. Let me move you guys a little bit. Kind of a weird angle, but then we move up and we have the blues, which need to be organized. That white doesn't need to be there. This is the, like our little yellow pastel, like yellow mustard area. And then the top, as you can see, I ended up using like basic chenille to put up there just because I didn't have any more Premier Parfait Chunky. So I was very limited and I needed to put it somewhere. So it went up there which I may just keep it up there. We'll see. I know for sure I want to arrange this a little bit more. And then this wall on this side that you guys 
typically see that used to be my yarn wall in my videos. It's actually pretty organized. Let me show you guys. So it's actually pretty organized, so I don't have to do anything to it. And guess what? I ended up getting a new desk for the front. So it's actually a lot more space. I got my my little handle there to do like videos down here because I do plan on doing one of my sleepy baby animals and putting it on YouTube for you guys. I think the consensus is everybody wants the sleepy baby elephant. So that may be coming up. Um, not anytime soon so don't think it's gonna be in the next month or two because I have planned videos already for I believe like two months so I don't want you to get your hopes up for that but um it will be coming maybe maybe it'll be my birthday one in November we'll see I think that would be good anyways let's go ahead and get started I'm just gonna play some music over and you guys can just watch me work for 30 minutes for you guys, it'll probably be like 20 seconds, but you get the gist. Alrighty. Literally forgot to film that. I'm so sorry, but it is up. Oh my gosh. My camera wasn't filming. I'm so dumb. I forgot to film this. <laughs> I d did put in a little bit in. So. Excuse the dog for barking. Okay, I don't know if I told you guys, it is Tuesday, March 26th, whenever you guys saw me arrange my yarn wall, which it looks so much better, literally. So, now I gotta show you guys the packages that I've gotten. I wanna organize my safety eyes. I finally got some more of these big little organizers. I got two in white, so the other one looks exactly like this one. I also ended up getting an extra little place to put my stickers this little guy right here which I will show you the new stickers that I received as well the first thing that I want to show you guys is I got a skein of like this multicolor Aunt Lydia's crochet thread I'm planning on maybe the video on Saturday I don't know yet is maybe trying micro crocheting for the first time and with this I ordered let me see where they're at maybe they're in this basket I put all the new stuff in these baskets. I got some crochet hooks, so let me show you those. I wasn't sure which ones to pick out for micro crocheting because I've never actually done it. So I ended up getting a 1.5, 2, and a 2.5. That's what they look like. I'm excited to see what works best for me. I'll probably save it for Saturday's video though. I have all of this to try, and then I ended up getting more which you guys saw that haul. So I have them back there. I'll put this with them. The next thing that I wanna show you guys is my sticker packs. So I can go ahead and put them in that little container. We got an elephant sticker pack. Look how adorable. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but there's a ton of cute little elephants. So we have that pack. Okay, so I took them out of the package so I can show you guys. I got like these cute little like sea life fishes, a ton of them. They're so adorable. I think people will love them. I got two sets of cows just because I feel like 
people will like these stickers. These are all freebies of what, uh, of course. And then I got just a variety pack of like bunnies and just different stickers. I mean, life. <laughs> There's a little teapot, not teapot, teacup. So adorable. I love like the bulb aesthetic. It reminds me of like being inspired. So I definitely got some of those. I got some more sea life. That's a little shell. Um, we have another little fish, things like that. I got these circular stickers. I think these are adorable. I'm going to have to go through these because I want to keep some of these. But look at that cute little frog. Isn't he adorable? He's so cute. Got a cute little sea turtle there. We have some more stickers here. They're just like mason jars of stuff. We got some birds. Here's a little parrot. And then we got some dinos. Just a variety of stickers. This is just dino related. All dinos. Let me go ahead and add them to my little container over here. It's going to look so cute. Let me bring you this way so you can see. Now I have two empty spots there. Next in my order, I ordered some of this paper, which is like crinkly paper. I saw that I can't remember who the artist was, um, who the creator of this was, but they had like a lens buddy. So it's for a camera. So it's basically for photographers who photograph babies and children. So they're able to add it to their lens and it's a little lens buddy. So I bought some crinkly paper to put on the head of the dino. I think it's a triceratops if I remember correctly that I bought. That's the only one they've come out with so far, but I think it's going to be like a little collection. So I'm excited to add some crinkly paper in there. And um, I already have some little baby rattles. So yeah. I'm excited to be making that. That is going to be on my to-do list for probably the month of April before my market because my market is April 28th and I do want to have a variety so I may make a couple to see if there's any photographers. It does kind of lean towards their business. It's very functional so instead of it being like why do I just want a plushie, this is like a usable plushie if you photograph children so I thought why not buy the pattern and make a couple of them. I can't wait to see what else is coming out in that collection. Let's go ahead and move on to other stuff that I bought. I went ahead and stocked up on a ton of these. These are just several little um, note cards and they're going to be like my new thank yous. And then on the back, it's probably, I'm probably going to um, emboss my logo on it. So that is why I bought the embosser. So I'm excited to be doing that. The other thing, I don't know, I'm probably going to do it for the next vlog, but I need to take out all of my paper bags and stamp them with my logo stamper just so they know where that bag is coming from if someone shops from my little booth. So I'm excited about that because I love branding with my stuff, you know, with my logo. So I'm happy that I got everything with my new logo. Very excited about that. I bought several of them. I know I did hearts for the first, um, I think it was like 30 orders, and now I am going to do these cute little, they're just like little figurines. I thought they were adorable. Plus, these are all little freebies, of course, so I pay with them for with my own money, and I'm trying to go cheapest as possible while giving you something that you may like. They're like made of polymer clay, and they have several little options, and they all have overalls too, so I thought it was adorable. So it's just a tiny little figurine. You can put it on your desk or anything like that. Um, I just thought it would be cute to put in the package. So I bought several of those. Two packets, three packets, four, five, six. I think I bought six packets and I think each of them probably come with like 12. So, and then I also ended up buying a packet of butterflies. I legit thought these were silicone, so I was gonna have the option of butterflies, but these are not silicone. They're polymer clay, so I'll probably give them out as freebies too because I didn't know that's what they were. I did end up buying two... I think these are resin. I don't know what they are, but um, they're going in my car is what they're going. They're just pins, enamel pins, that I wanted. If you guys don't know me, I love Avatar and I love Dragon Ball Z. So I ended up buying these little Avatar ones. It's just Appa and Momo asleep. 
think they're asleep. Yeah, they're asleep. The color is off on their arrows, but it didn't show that in the listing, which is fine. They're still cute. And then the other one that I bought is, this one's my favorite, is of just, it's just Appa. He's so cute. Appa, yip, yip. So, very adorable. I love them. They're going in my car visor. I have a collection of like Pokemon and DBZ enamel pins up there. And now I can add Avatar, which I love. So, and the last couple things in here, I think, yes, are silicone toppers that I bought. So I'm sure, wait, 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 there's this. Oh, I bought another enamel pin. I didn't remember about this one. Hold on. Thinking about it now and looking at it, I did, I did. I remember buying this pin. And one of my favorite, like, is it series? I don't even know what it's called, but it is definitely Hunger Games. I love Hunger Games. I love Harry Potter. I couldn't find any, like, Harry Potter, like, Hogwarts, or I really wanted, like, the castle enamel pin. Maybe that's just something I made up in my head, but if there was, like, a castle, like, a just, like, an outline of the castle, that would be amazing with a little owl on it or a phoenix. I think I would buy that. Like I said, I love Harry Potter. I love Hunger Games, so I did end up buying the little Mockingjay for Hunger Games. This is so cute. I'm so excited to put this in my car on my visor. Very adorable. So excited about that one too. So those are the three that I bought. Now we can get on to the silicone pins. So I have them all in here. I don't think you can see them. I'm just going to grab one and then I'll show you what it is. Okay. So I did end up buying some cows. There's some black cows and some brown spotted cows. Very excited about these. They're so adorable. I hope you guys, I've seen some people want cows. So that's kind of the reason why I bought these certain silicone beads. And I have more coming in from Amazon. So don't think that these are the last of the beads that I'm buying this week. Um, I've already purchase them. I'm just waiting for them. I think they said Thursday. Then I have these other cows. They're so cute. Then I bought, I think I bought two of these. Let me find the other one. Yeah. I bought two sets of these bows. So these bows are going to be for the second topper. They're not going to be for the first topper. First topper is like animals. Second topper, I want to do like the hexagon, the bigger circle beads, the ball beads, um, a cute little bow, a leaf, things like that. That's what this is for, the second topper. Then I bought these huge, I didn't think they were going to be this big, but they are, these huge elephants. I am going to keep the gray one or the white one. I'm not sure just yet. I have to look at them, but I am going to keep one of these for myself. I bought some more bows, didn't know that. And that's it for right now. Um, I think I have some cats coming, I have some dogs coming, butterflies coming, maybe two or three sets of different butterflies, and I am going to be making sewing sticks today on live. I don't have too many orders. I think I have maybe three or four, so I'm excited to make those. I'm also going to be packaging up Annie's order. She ended up buying my, um, it's like maroon slash burgundy Benji the beaver, and then she ended up also buying a cute little frog, so I'll be packaging both of those up. The other thing that I want to add to that order is just a little freebie plush because she has ordered so much for me and I really do appreciate it. And I know she's learning to crochet and her daughter's learning to crochet. So thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. Um, I can't wait to package that order. I know the order was placed, I believe on Friday, um, but I worked this entire weekend, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I can finally now focus on my small business. Um, so I'm excited about that. I think I already showed you guys, but don't mind the mess. Let me show you. Look how adorable that is. It has three of these, so I am putting a lot of, like, things to set up in, like, things to pack up in in here, just so I can have it nearby, so I'm not saying that nothing is near me and I can't package your order up, so I'm excited about that. Let's go ahead and I have my little, my tiny little printer right here. And it's just to make little labels for, for this little guy because I am ready to put these safety eyes up and away. And then when I need them, I can take them out. The, this is specifically for my painting eyes. So they're just clear. They don't have anything. And I'm excited to put them away. They need to go away. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll be back. It's just... 
a multitude of me being on my phone. So it's not even that interesting, but I'll show you guys what it looks like in the end. Okay. I couldn't make the labels because I only have white tape. So I don't want to stick those. I only like to use clear tape for these little guys so they don't stand out too much. But I did just put the labels inside so I don't have to tape them. And then I'm going to order some more on Amazon. But yeah, we have, let me show you, 12, 14, 16, 18, two of them are 20s. And then this whole bottom row is 30s. And then this other one just took one, which is 30s. But I do have more safety eyes that I ordered. They're in this little box that I have to figure out what size they are. But I'm going to add those to that other little storage container so I don't have this box just sitting here. I don't know what size this is. These are. So I'm going to have to figure that out. I will right now. It is 6.54 p.m. So in about an hour, I'm going to have to go on live. I have to figure out who I still need to make sewing sticks for. So in 30 minutes, I have to finish this. And then I have to take a look to see who I have orders to complete for. But yeah, that is the update for right now. And I'll be back if I have another update before the live. If not, I will see you guys after the live. Okay, guys. I thought I was going to do more today. Um, it is 1 a.m. Well... I'm kind of lying. It's 12.55 a.m. So it's Wednesday, March 27th. Um, we had a good live. I forgot to mention to you guys, real talk, that I did end up signing back up for my practicum to finish off my master's. It is an 11-week course, and it's a total of 135 hours within the, the 11 weeks. I just want to let you guys know that... A couple of things may change on my YouTube, only for that time being because I do need to finish my master's. It is in nursing education. It is just time for me to do it. It's been two years that I've been holding off on it, and I fully out of pocket paid for my bachelor's and paid for my master's. So the fact that I don't have MSN behind my name really irks me because I am just... 11 weeks away from graduating and having that title. Although I may not use it, it is still good to have just in case I ever need it for any reason. I can also become a professor at a university if I wanted to. That was my dream for a little bit. I still think I need to get my master's since I'm literally a practicum away from walking the stage. So I hope you guys understand. I'm sure you guys will. My start date can either be in May or it can be in September. They only do two a year. I'm thinking of doing the September one only because I need to get a lot of my ducks in a row. Um, I need to get like reinstated and I need to finish that up this week. My goal is to finish it up this week, send it in because it is a lot of paperwork that I have to fill out, send it in and have them review it the next week or two and then get approved hopefully. I don't see why I wouldn't get approved just because it's only been two years and you have a total of six years. I did talk to my advisor. She was very sweet and kind of walking me through the steps of what to, what's to come. I am going to reach out to my preceptor that I had in mind a couple years ago. Hopefully she's not retired or anything and hopefully she is still working at my local college. So I am able to kind of basically shadow her and be her precept team. So I will be extremely busy working full time Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then those other days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, focusing on my practicum. And then Friday will be my only day off. So I will definitely be working overtime, but I think I got it in the bag. I know I do. I just need to focus my time. 11 weeks will go by so fast. And I know my community, like this little community is going to it's gonna continue to grow and I know you guys will be okay with seeing one video a week. Maybe I'll do one video a week and then one live a week. We'll see how I'm feeling. It's just a lot on my plate but I am gonna start making like little sets of sewing sticks and selling them directly on my Etsy. I'm thinking of cutting off most of like my custom orders for my sewing sticks only so whenever I have time to make the sewing sticks I can just go ahead and make them and then put them up on my Etsy. I think that'll kind of shave some time off instead of holding off and waiting on people to approve the custom sewing sticks which most of the time people approve them they 
don't want to change anything about them, which is amazing. So that means people do like the aesthetic portion that I put together. So I think people won't mind me just making the sticks and putting them up on my Etsy and then you can just purchase them like that. I think that'll probably be a little bit easier. So that is all I wanted to kind of let you guys know that changes will be coming and um, I appreciate all the love and support. That is it for this video. My TV is on because I'm about to lay in bed, watch season six of Love is Blind with my boyfriend on the phone. He does not live here so we have to make time on the phone and and so I need to end this video. I will be editing it hopefully this morning. I'm waiting for my parents to call to say that they're nearby so I can go and pick them up. That is going to be closer to 4 a.m. So I will be awake tonight. I think that's it for now. I love you guys. I will talk to you guys in the next one. By the way, Saturday's video. I hope you're ready for it because it is micro crocheting. I have all the stuff in the back as you can peep that right there. And yeah, that is all that you get. And I will catch you guys on my live on Thursday, 8 p.m. CST. Bye guys.